you don't have to do that. To live life, you can be very peaceful. You can just silent and be with the moment. To appreciate the very pristine beauty and wonders of life. Well, when you are with the moment, means your city, your awareness, nature, your silent mind is with that thing. You are not lost in thought. You are not preoccupied with anything. That joy, that stillness, that silence. There is no mental agitation. There is no mundane mind or sankara mind state like fear, worry, anxiety, sorrow, and lament. Don't have all those things. Where your mind does not stir and react to sense experience, you see things as they are, like a baby. The direct see. That's how you're supposed to see. That's how cultivator is supposed to be. That's why most of the time we are peaceful, quiet, joyful. Have the understanding. That's why we smile a lot. We rejoice a lot. Then we silence our mind to be with the moment, yeah. to experience everything beautifully. Everything is so pristine, so beautiful. It's always new. We never repeat like a tape recorder or the memory of the the, the habitual tendency and the the, the what they call uh, uh, cocoon or uh, wrong thought, wrong thinking. Uh, because people with problem, depression, they hold on to their problem. They worry about those things. Then they keep on repeating those thought process. Uh, the wrong thought. Uh, why must I become like that? Why is that fellow doing this to me? How come my life so miserable? So this thing continue to repeat, but they never live life. They never with the silent mind to be with the moment in awareness to experience thing, to experience the beauty and wonders of life. Actually, every moment, every instant, everything is so beautiful, so pristine. Why you hold on to your thought and develop the suffering, the misery, the unhappiness? All this come about where you attach to the five aggregates of form and mind. What are the five aggregates? Your memory is one of them that you accumulate through your perception. Then your emotion, your feeling, your sad feeling, your nice feeling. So all these are your attachment. When you cling to feeling, you suffer. Because feeling arises through nature's condition. When there is condition, things will unfold. It's like now in life. If you are in an aircon room, you feel good in it. The humidity or not so bad in it. The quality of Aircon air is so much better than steel air or foul air without aircon in it, without proper ventilation in it. So naturally, you will feel good. But then, when you are so used to aircon condition, you have attachment. The moment you go somewhere without aircon, you complain. You become unhappy. Means you don't have wisdom. You don't know how to endure. You don't know condition like that, things will be like that. Even if you want aircon or what, wait till you enter your car. Huh? If your car has good aircon, of course, you like to sit in your car. There is no harm doing that. But do not create suffering through attachment. When there is no condition, as long as you are not in the aircon area or in a car, you have to make do with whatever condition you have. There is understanding. There is no attachment. But when you start to attach, you realize every moment you start to attach to your feeling, to your perception, to your mind states, to your idea, to your whatever views, opinion, you suffer. Then whatever that you become conscious of, you react to it through like and dislike, pleasant and unpleasant, you suffer. So that's how I saw all these five aggregates of form and mind. Then I realized what this is. That's why I can explain it to you now. Then when I live life, I was silent, aware. My mindfulness was very good. That's why I can see all my mental movement. 
mental states during the early day, why I was conditioned into those states, how come fear arise, unhappiness arise, the lack of joy, the lack of understanding. All this is because I cannot understand the five aggregate of my mind. I cannot see them. I cannot silent my mind to observe the movement. But when I silent my mind to observe the movement, then I realize, hey, thing is just the way it is, like the Buddha said. Condition like that, things will be like that. So when I understand that, when I accept that reality, I realize there is peace. I don't have to reason. I don't have to analyze. I don't have to ask questions like why. There is no such thing. Everything is just the way it is, like the Buddha said. Condition like that, things will be like that. Whatever that arise, there are causes and conditions behind. So it becomes so clear to me, so beautiful. That's why my nature after 1989, I live life differently. I saw things differently. I understand things differently. And everything becomes so beautiful, so pristine. That's how Dhamma has the ability to transform the individual. But it's not easy to understand this type of Dhamma because this type of Dhamma needs the meditative mind, the silent mind, the sati behind, the awareness. Without that, you can't. Theory cannot free you. Idea and concept, knowledge cannot free you. So this is what the teaching is all about. Eh?